part two of the review I'm doing. Yay! Because I definitely don't do more than two parts. I do like 50 parts, actually. Um, no, but like, it was very, very ridiculous. The money and the dive points. and so The dive points, I never used them too much, honestly, unless I really had to. Which was like, every once or twice in the game, you have to use dive points. But no, if you want to get the perfect ending, you gotta do a lot of stuff. The shop mechanic was just basically click what you want and buy how much you want. It's it's simple. It's not anything. If a monkey could do it, you could do it. <laughs> Let's just say that. Ugh. Yeah, but no, the synthesizing process was fun. It got really repetitive around Endgame because there were certain things you had to create to get the perfect ending. It, overall, it was good if you do it if you stretch it out between like game play time and stuff. So you're t not constantly sitting at the screen watching certain things go on and on. Um, and the only positive thing about the synthesizing thing is the fact that they dance a little. <laughs> just that little dance makes it a, a, a bit. Bleh. That little dance makes it a tiny bit better. Just 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 to suffer through it. <laughs> And yes, I did say suffer. Shut up. <laughs> oh god, my eye hurts right now. Oof, it is twitching. I don't know what to do, and I hope I didn't break a blood vessel. <laughs> oh. Oh. I have no idea why I'm making so many weird sounds right now. <laughs> That's who I am, honestly. This oh god, I am Shadow. This is who I am. Make sure to cut this part out, me. If not, this is going to sound really stupid. <laughs> okay, um... I forgot. My my train of thought just left my station a long ass time ago. Wow. Um. Oh yeah, the ending. <laughs> Actually, no. Should we talk about the ending? Cause I think I covered. Yeah, I covered practically everything. Oh no 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 no. Um, the the t the, the the game's time frame. It's ridiculous. If you don't like, you know, switching uh, characters, you know, mid story or mid anything. You're not gonna like this game. It's a very hard game. It's not hard, but if you don't know what, where certain things are, it makes it confusing, and they don't alliterate where you're supposed to go. Like I complained about this in Skyward Swords and Legend of Zelda, but at least they give you hints and alliterate. It's like, hey, dumbass, you gotta go here. But in this game, oh, oh no! If you don't read it the first time, there's no like go back to NPC and they tell you where to go. Nope, you gotta. Go off memory, and it's very, very difficult. And it's just like, I had to use a walkthrough. I'm not gonna lie, I went on GameFAQs to look up a walkthrough because I was just stuck at a couple points. And then, you know, it gets easier as you go on, etc., etc. You get m more familiar with the land format. But it's still a pain. But it's nothing compared to the first game, because the first game I didn't get the perfect ending on, and it's ridiculous. I'm trying to, like, maybe when I do the Let's Play, but, like, that's it. I'm not trying. I don't give a damn. And people can yell at me, bitch at me, all you damn want. I'm not going to try to get the perfect ending. It's somewhat like Fairy Fencer, honestly, in, in that regard. Like, how you always, you're forced to get the, what is it, the, the Tiara ending? Which is, obviously, a, a fantastic ending. I wouldn't bash it for two shits. It's actually a very fantastic ending, I wouldn't lie. Um, but no, like, if you get 100% or, you know, get less than, like, I think 50%, is it? I don't know, I, I never got anything lower than 50%. Um, you get the bad ending, but it's... The true ending is apparently what's gonna spawn a sequel for Fairy Fencer. But am I here to talk about Fairy Fencer? No. I will later, because I think I haven't talked about Fairy Fencer. It's a great game. I would recommend it. But then again, not everyone listens to my recommendations. You don't have to. It's not gonna put a gun to your head and go like, BUY THE GAME! Buy the money. Get the money. <laughs> Wait, buy the money? That makes no damn sense. Why would you buy cash? You can't really do that. You can buy fake cash. <laughs> it's like, buy the fake dollar for about 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Buy it. <laughs> it's like, no. It's like, why not? Because it's 50 damn bucks. <laughs> but it's a fake dollar. Wow. My train of thought. It's amazing how often it leaves. It's just like, oh, you got a good idea, you got it rolling, and then, boom, right off the rails. Why did I say, wow, that was a very loud little sound effect I did. Then again, you're talking to a person who does Yoshi sound effects for a living. Just to get a laugh out of a kid. I don't like kids. Actually, that's a big fat lie, I do like kids. Kids are awesome. 
and kids should not play certain games that are not recommended for them. I'm looking at you children who play Grand Theft Auto and etc. I'm 18 years old and I think that stuff is ridiculous. And not to mention I actually have seen on TV and stuff a drug war in effect. It's not a pretty thing. I'm looking at you kids. We're trying to save you for good reasons. Wow, that sounds horrible. <laughs> that doesn't does sound a bit horrible. It's just like, we're saving you for good reason, kids. Ugh, God. Ugh. After playing Persona Q, not Persona Q, Persona 4 Arena Ultra, you guys can understand where I'm coming from when you see that storyline arc. <laughs> not really the best one. Then again, Persona. That's all I have to say. Okay, so going on. What was I going on about again? Oh, see, like, I always lose train of thought. It's, <laughs> wow, welcome to an average day of me. <laughs> You want to talk about one thing, you talk about 50,000 other things. Jesus Christ, is it really that hard for me to focus? Yes. I answered my own question. There you go. Uh, but no, it is ridiculous. Um, okay, so let's talk about the ending before I goddamn forget anything. Um, the ending, the perfect ending was very, very atmospheric. You could get into it in a matter of seconds. If you don't want to, look it up on YouTube. It's a very fantastic ending. And overall, I give the game a... I'm being really generous with this for the amount of time it took to do so much BS. Um, I'm giving the game about eight, eight out of five. Wait, <laughs> eight out of five. That's a perfect. That's a perfect analogy, me. That's a that's a really dumb analogy. I mean, um, eight out of ten. It's a very average game, but to be fair, that's kind of what makes it. Imp that's kind of what makes it and breaks it for me because, you know, average games they're perfectly normal and easy. They're cool. But for a speedrunner, or for, you know, a casual player who doesn't like the average game, yeah, probably not gonna like it. <laughs> and, like, I know there's certain ways to cut down time and stuff, but, ugh. It's just, if you want to get the perfect ending, which I would recommend, you're going to be sitting there for a couple hours. It's not really a fun process. But overall, I would say give the game a shot. If you like the first couple hours of it, you'll probably like the rest of it. If you don't like the first couple hours of it, then just drop it and leave it. <laughs> Someone else might pick it up. No, but um, it also does throw, like, it breaks the fourth wall, but in a good way. Compared to, like, you know, Paper Mario, where it's like, Hey, you, sit in front of the TV. What's your problem, bub? Um, wow, I remember that word from word, actually. That's pretty impressive, given the fact that I've played Paper Mario in your door twice in my life. <laughs> or got to that point. Which was twice in my life. Yeah, no, it's, um, it breaks the fourth wall, but it's a good breaking the fourth wall. It's like, you know what? You might have caused so much pain and misery, but we love you. We got you. And you're awesome. Come back and play again. It's just like Earthbound, but Earthbound kind of didn't break the fourth wall a whole lot. Or at least what I've noticed. But then again, I've played Earthbound, what, once in my life? <laughs> and beat it. But yeah, um, give the game a shot. If you don't like it, eh, that's your fault, I guess. But, you know, not everyone's the same. I'm a very RPG-ish, re RPG-ish re religious. Wow, that's a, that's a horrible thing to say. Because, you know, people rant about Final Fantasy, and Final Fantasy isn't meant to be taken seriously, guy. Then again, there's people who started religions because of Seymour. Yeah, little stupid. Just a tad bit. Uh, and the sad part is, I can say to myself, I'm practically a ditz. But, like, the sad part is, I'm a smart guy. I just get brain lost. Like, my rails just get derailed. I go on other thoughts. I'm a pretty smart guy as is. But, you know, shit happens. You just kind of lose your train of thought. Just gonna do it now, because, you know, I realized this. I realized I lost my train of thought. But, eh, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> Sure, you've gone mentally insane, but does it really make you a bad person? Possibly. Who knows? It's up for you to decide. Are you a bad person? Are you a good person? It's all up to you. How do you want to pursue life? <laughs> wow, what was it to turn into a persona? Anime? Both? Wow, that'd be horrible. Well, no, that exists. That's the movie and the Persona 4 thing. Wow, train of thought. As I say... <laughs> I could like go into a bar and just go like, why was I in the bar? <laughs> I could, I keep telling people, I don't know why I'm saying this in the video. I could walk around the neighborhood, come back, I'm like, where do I live again? Where do I honestly live? Yeah, but overall, game's good, video's gonna cut out, bye!
ถ้าได้กลับไป